Hey, do you ever feel like you just really messed up? Uh, maybe that's you today. Like maybe everything just seems to be falling apart around you. And you can you imagine being St. Paul, right, from the, from the scriptures? Uh, have been such a uh, steadfast believer and, uh, and, and was there, you know, thinking that taking down all the followers of Jesus was the thing to do, right? In fact, no, don't just protest them, but try to jail them or, or kill them if, if needed. Whatever it takes to shut this thing down. And he thought he was doing God's work, but he couldn't have been any like off pace. Uh, and it really was doing the opposite of what God was calling him to do. And yet, here's the thing. God changed his heart. God, God took that blind, those blind eyes and made them to see a heart that was, you know, just a heart of stone that was against Jesus became a heart that, that wanted nothing more than to let the world know about Jesus. And, and this is what, uh, I say all that because Paul in, in 1 Corinthians 15, he's just celebrating that, that, that Jesus would come to him, that Jesus would love him and bring the truth about the resurrection to him. Wow, that's amazing. And so if he, who wrote half the New Testament, if he's excited about it, shouldn't we be? Shouldn't I be? Right, because I'm, 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 I'm really low on that totem pole in my mind. So what does he say? Let's look at it. 1 Corinthians 15, 3 to 8. He says, I deliver to you as of first importance that I also received. Now others had gotten the message, right? There were other disciples, apostles, eyewitnesses. And Paul's going, wow, I, I got on that list? And this is what matters. This is the only truth. This is the first importance that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, right? According to God's plan, that he was buried and that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the, with the scriptures and that he appeared to Cephas, then to the twelve. Then he appeared to more than 500 brothers at one time, most of whom are still alive, though some have died, some right, they have fallen asleep. And then he appeared to James, then to all the apostles. Last of all, as to one untimely born. In other words, he wasn't part of that group that walked and talked with Jesus and saw him crucified. And, right? He came a little bit later, but he was born again. He was born from above. His heart was changed. His life was totally changed. That he said, he appeared also to me. That is so cool to me. That he would say, like, like that God would, would, even with his track record, even though he murdered Christians, had that as his burning desire to shut down the church, that God would use him, that, that Jesus would actually go to him. He's like, I am blown away, and I want us to be blown away as well in a good way, to say, whoa, Lord, thank you that you would do that for me. Because he does, he's with us. In, in his word, he shows us who he is. He shows us this truth that he suffered for us, that he died for us, that he rose for us, and that he's coming back to take us home. How awesome is that? No matter how you feel today, that's true. No matter what you're going through today, that's true. It's true. It might be the only thing that's true in this world. The only thing you can look to, the only thing you can trust, it's him. How awesome. That's the first importance. That's what matters more than anything else. So I pray that that just continues to change you and to help you, encourage you, and lift you up. Talk to you next time for another follow-through.